Um, so looking back on, on the Iran game, yeah. would you say that the better team won? Um, that doesn't matter in football. It's just about the end score line. Uh, I think we played a, a good game, um, limited them to, to chances, uh, created a number of chances, especially in the first half. So happy with the result and happy to move on. The last 10 minutes were incredibly tense. What was that like for you? Um, yeah, it's tense, especially when there's seven minutes of injury time and another couple minutes added for, you know, for injury time and injury time. So it gets complicated, but what I'd say is, especially watching the video back, we, we um, limited them to, to very few chances in that time. And really good shape, really good collective movement, and, and I think calmness and poise of our group under pressure was excellent. Yeah, I was going to say, were you impressed with your players' kind of laser focus even at that late part of the game? Yeah, that was crucial. Um, you know, those, those moments do get tense, but the guys stayed calm and just were executed, and that's all you could ask. Uh, after the game, Carlos Kirish described your players as Ferraris. Did you think that was a good description? We we have the ability to take the, the game to a, a high speed, and um, you know it, it's great when when we get our guys running and we use our energy and our strong mentality. It, it's really important. So, you know, it, I, we use it as a compliment, or we take it as a compliment. Um, you know, from a very experienced coach. Your your players seem to be showing a great level of maturity, both on and off the field as well. Where do you think that comes from, kind of maturity beyond their years, if you like? I think it's just focus. I mean, we've talked for the last four years about getting to this moment, and here we are. And, um, you know, what I see is the group is extremely close together, extremely focused on performing well, and doing everything they can to get ready for the games. Um, no real distractions. Kind of focusing a little bit more on, on yourself and your kind of coaching style, do you feel like your coaching style has been influenced by any other kind of American sports? Have you kind of taken any approaches from anywhere else? I think it's it's about learning and, and continuing to to learn. I think coaching in any sport has uh, has similarities. Leadership is, is similarities across across business, across the military, across other sports. So, as much as I can learn from those those other as, um, environments, I will. Do you think American coaches are sometimes kind of more methodical, maybe more professional? I wouldn't say that. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> um, so, kind of moving forward to look at the Netherlands game, how much are you looking forward to kind of pitting your wits against one of the game's kind of great tacticians in Louis van Gaal? You know, it's about the players. It's about the teams. You know, it's not about coaches squaring off against each other. It, it's really about you know how how the group stays together and how our mentality is strong in these games. We know it's going to be a difficult game. We know there's going to be times when we're under pressure. We know there's going to be times where we have the upper hand, so it's just about riding those moments out and staying clear with, with the plan. What are you expecting from the Dutch in terms of how they will come at you? I think they're going to be aggressive. I think they're going to use you know their attacking weapons that they have. Um, I think they'll add probably add some speed to the group. Maybe Bergwijn will come in. Um, you know, I, I think it's a very good team stacked with, with you know, players that are, are household names everywhere in the world. So it, it's going to be a tough test for our group. And obviously now, I know the last game was kind of win or go home in, in a knockout sense, but now we're actually into knockout, knockout. Have you been practicing your penalties? We will today, for sure. But, um, you know, the way we looked at last game was a knockout game also, so we're, we're used to knockout games by now. And I guess the way that the team conducted themselves in that final sort of 10 minutes, should it go to extra time, you're confident that their focus and their professionalism should shine through, I imagine? I think it was a good rehearsal for, for late game scenarios. Um, I think it was a good rehearsal for playing under pressure. Um, you know, we got that, that pressure game out of the way, and, and now we, we have a second round game, which we're looking forward to. Obviously, you yourself were part of a, the only kind of successful round of 16 match in the, in the US's history. Yep. What are your memories of that day? Yeah, you know, I told the group, um, talked to the team about it, and well, I remember it was a really hot day, and, um, but I also remember the mentality of, of every play being crucial to the outcome of the game, and that's the mentality that we all had on the field. We knew that it was going to be a very tense game, very difficult game, there wasn't going to be much separating the teams, and we had to focus on each and every play if we were going to be successful. Do you remember how you felt when that final whistle went? Yeah, I mean, I remember when we scored the second goal, it was like the final whistle because then I knew it was over. It was probably a 70-something minute and we scored the second goal and then I knew, okay, this thing's done. Do you think emotionally that experience has helped you prepare or is helping you prepare for this round of 16 clash? 
I think understanding um, the World Cup, you know, be, participating in two World Cups, getting an understanding for what the games are like and trying to, to communicate that to the group um, is important. But this is also new territory for this new group um, and we're just excited for this opportunity.